The Grant County flooding now estimated to have caused millions of dollars in damage. News 3's Theo Keith has an update on how people are assessing that damage. Theo? Jen, emergency officials now say the flooding will cost $2.3 million, and that estimate doesn't yet include the city of Boscobel, which was hard hit. Tonight, they're estimating 600 homes sustained some damage, 20 in a major way, and at least one more new water rescue today. Five more inches of rain on top of eight inches earlier in the weekend could not have been less welcome at Dan Cooey's place. Cooey rents out this home in the Grant County village of Blue River. My basement filled up to the floor joists. They spent Sunday pumping the water out, which left two inches of mud covering everything in the basement. Everything's junk. The furnace clear full of water and dirt. That's a brand new furnace. Cooey estimates the storms caused $15,000 in damage to his home alone. In the few miles between Blue River and the city of Boscobel, floods washed out a section of railroad track. And in Boscobel, firefighters and other volunteers were just finishing their second 16-plus hour shift in as many days. We're pretty drug out, pretty ragged. Fire Chief Todd Fisher says many of his crews have more work to look forward to. We're a volunteer department. These firemen have homes in this town, and their houses got water in the basements. Their houses have this damage. Crews from 10 other local departments came to help. Together on Sunday, they were able to get rid of standing water that News 3 had showed you on Saturday. They were lucky that more rain had held off. Not raining today was the biggest benefit we had. While firefighters pumped water, emergency management officials went around to homes to assess the damage. Homeowners without flood insurance are left to hope for federal relief. Hoping FEMA helps out since insurance doesn't help at all. And emergency management officials are asking that people get their damage documentation into City Hall in Boscobel as soon as they can. This week, people who need cleaning supplies or other help can stop by City Hall or call the number on your screen. They can stop by starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow. There is also another call for volunteers. You can report if you'd like to volunteer to Boscobel City Hall starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. Jen. A lot of good people out there willing to help the yes. folks who are hurting. Yeah. Theo, thank you.